In this video, we're going to map a private drive located on a NAS for free NAS to a Windows 10 machine. For this to work, the NAS for free user and Windows user must have the same username and password. I've only been able to successfully map a private share to a uh, local machine user, not to a Microsoft account user such as joe at msn.com. I have three accounts on my machine. An MSN account, and a Gmail account that I don't use, and a local account. To add the necessary local account, click the Add New User in PC Settings at the bottom of the screen. Click Add Someone Else to this PC under Other Users next. Next, click on The Person I Want to Add Doesn't Have an Email Address located at the bottom of the screen. Windows is very insistent about creating a uh, MSN account, but don't do it. Uh, add a user without a Microsoft account at the bottom. Click that link. Here we'll create a uh, local account. I'll give it the name test. We'll give it a password. Re-enter the password. And it's the same password I use. Then click Next. You should now see the uh, account you just created in the uh, account screen. Okay, before we get started with uh, configuring NIS for free for a private share, I'm assuming that you have all of, uh, of, all of uh, NIS for free already set up. You have a host name, you have uh, your DNS server set up, you have the uh, everything set up in your networks. On uh, disks you have your uh, disks all imported and, uh, in, and you have ZFS uh, loaded on. You have pools. You already have virtual devices. We'll be creating data sets and in services, you already have CIFS enabled, and for the most part, uh, <coughs> all of your settings are uh, correct. The first thing we're going to do on uh, NAS for free is create a user with the same username and password as one we just created in our uh, Windows 10 machine. So we're going to click on Access, Users and Groups. And we're going to click this plus button down here. We're going to put in uh, our username that we just created in Windows. And their full name and the password. And you have to confirm the password. And the rest of it is fine. User ID 1001. Everything else is looking fine here. If you know a little more about uh, Windows, or not, not Windows, but Linux and Unix uh, permissions, you might know how to uh, do some changing down here, but it doesn't need to be done. And then we'll click Add. And, no, I do not want Google to save that. And you'll see that we added a new user. We always have to click on uh, NAS for free, Apply Changes. And I don't know what this error code is all about. This is the test system, so I've been messing with it. The next thing we're going to do is uh, create a data set for the sh for a share. And uh, the way we do that is we click on Disks and then ZFS. You can see I have a pool. It's a one terabyte drive. This is just a test system. Got a virtual device uh, on my single test drive, and we've got uh, already have a data set in there. Uh, like I said, I've been playing with this, trying to figure it all out. So we're going to add another data, data set, and we're going to call it whatever we want, test. And all of this is fine. I don't see any problem with this, but we're going to change down here access restrictions. We're going to change owner from root to test and we'll leave 
leave the group alone. I don't know that that matters. And then we're going to change access modes down here from everybody gets to see and do and write everything to others. We're going to take away their ability to read, write, and execute files. But the owner and the group still can. We're going to click Add. And as always in uh, NAS for free and free NAS and model wall, we have to apply changes. Now we have our test data set. And it all looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a share under CF CIFS uh, for our uh, data set that we just did. So we're going to go to services and CIFS click on shares add a share um, I'm going to call it what I've been calling it test but you call it whatever you want. You, I do believe you have to put a comment in here we're going to click on path pool 1 test and OK and that's going to put our path in there uh, we're going to set uh, set browsable yeah go ahead and leave that alone uh, enable guest, I disable guest access so nobody else can get in there and see what's going on so this is a private share um, you can leave the uh, recycle bin enabled if you want. It's not a bad idea. And everything else, I don't really know what's going on there. So click Add and Apply Changes. You'll see right here Guest Access No. And in CAIFS. Um, I don't see anything I need to change. I do notice that SMB3 is faster in Windows 10. All right. Okay, so uh, logged into your new local account. We are going to um, open up uh, File Explorer and. Uh, it looks something like this. I click on uh, this PC and then computer and map network drive. It's going to assign you a drive letter. You can change that if you like. It doesn't really matter. And it's going to ask you for a folder. So um, this is a little tricky. We're going to go backslash backslash and then whatever your NetBIOS name was uh, if it's default, then it's, uh, I love dogs, NAS for free, and then backslash, and then we're going to click browse, and you're going to see on your network, there it is, plus some other stuff. We're going to click on test and hit OK, and finish, and there you go. You'll see this PC, you've got a mapped drive to the server NAS for free. And this uh, helps with a lot of things. A lot of programs, uh, the NAS for free is easy on Windows 10 to get a network location, but a lot of programs you can't browse to a network location, you can only browse to a drive. And if you can't bro uh, browse to a network location, you have to be able to map a drive. And I was having the toughest time mapping a drive uh, until I finally figured it out. I figured I'd share it with the world. So here you go. Have fun. And thanks for watching.